Wagwan Nishan is that guy. That guy again. Jumping right into it. <laughs> Careful dyeing your locks. That is a very bold statement to say because as we know, chemical bleach will burn and tear and burst dreadlocks. Hell, even if you got regular hair and you're bleaching it, it will fry it off. So just avoid it if you can. But I know if some of you are really, really committed to dyeing your locks, just remember that less is always more. Now, in this photo, what I see is some tin foil that kind of plats and bind the bleach to the hair. These locks look in pretty short. So definitely just out of that baby dread stage. So hopefully this is the last time these locks are bleached, but who knows? Only time will really tell. Locked up for almost two years. Yo, crazy. How is it possible that this lock has like a wispy tip like that? Like that's that's so cool. I'm gonna move over here a little bit. Yeah, that's so cool that about that wispy tip. Two years in, they're looking good. I love the new growth. You got them high topped as well. This one kind of has a, a boot look to it. It looks like a boot, I swear, a leg and a boot. <laughs> Sick, man, I appreciate that. Day one versus year one. Holy moly, what a difference, I swear. Year one versus day one. So day one, she had them kind of two strand twisted in, and now a year later, they fully matured. They don't look like twists anymore, and there's been some bleach added. Shout out to her for taking the photo in the exact same spot, in the exact same outfit. How come your smile is not as big as when you first started? I thought this grin would have been a lot bigger, but I do appreciate your locks. Wholeheartedly, beautiful day to day. Yes, the dread shake on these freeform locks. Loving, loving the afro and the new growth. Loving the vibrancy of that shirt. Yes, it is always fun to get your locks outside on a beautiful day and shake them around. Just shake, shake, shake them around. Frizzy locks. Well, they're just getting to be locks. I mean, I see those locks back there. It's working. It's working. Definitely just got to keep at it. Cold water rinses definitely helps out. And no separation, just let them keep on congoing up. Let them strengthen at those roots. We're rooting for you, man. We're Six months looking forward, another dread shake. Yo, these are mad different than what we've been seeing. Crazy. Again with the bleach. Bleach is a hot commodity in this episode. Sick, man. And only six months in, so he's locked up at this point. They might not be fully matured yet, but his hair is locked. Like, those are not going to wash out or unravel at all. Daddy didn't like the wicks. No, he cut them off. And now he's got the dread sponge going on here. Man, just drop the dread sponge too and let them grow in free form. Let's see what happens. <laughs> the youth with the dread sponge is at work with it. Naughty gang at work. Yes. Shout out my dreadheads out there holding down jobs. Shout out my dreadheads out there starting their own businesses as well. Big ups. Midnight teeth brushing. <laughs> Yo, these locks are cool. Are they free form? Are they twisted? I don't know. Let me know. Please let me know. Yin's ever been become blah. Yin's ever been compared to the most random rappers because of your hair? Yeah, definitely been compared to in the past. Lil Wayne, 2 Chains, J. Cole, Bob Marley. 
And then there's a few other guys that aren't rappers that I've been compared to. That fashion guy. I can't remember his name at this point. Yo, look at that pink and the red and the blue. They came out vibrant. Check out this one skinny lock right here at the back. I love the, the revenge sweater. That's crazy. I'm curious what rapper are they reminding you of? Let me know in the comments. See how on this side the bleach is starting to show through on the dye that is fading out. But on this side it's still a lot thicker. Crazy. Loving the frizzy hair as well. Keep that going. 16 months free form. It grows, it shrinks, then it grows. Yo, that's exactly how dreadlocks form. They grow, they shrink, and then they grow again. And that's just for the beginning stages. After that, it's just continuous growth, right? So stay natty. Natty head southerners in the house. Representing down south if you're in the chat right now, let me know These locks looking crazy loving the headphone look here as well Yo guide and protect I and I oh ja ja through all these stages Bob Marley Big Bob Marley quote there Locks looking cool too. Are they crocheted into wicks? Looks like they were combined at one point or another. Check out his beard, growing some locks fully as well. Yeah. Making sure I make the cut this week. Well, you made it, my friend. You made it again. Loving the locks, dude. Keep on submitting. She was digging these bows, loving her locks each more each day. She was digging these bows, loving her locks more each day. Cool. A dreadlock bow tie. Loving it. What? What do y'all think of these knots on this guy? <laughs> Those are crazy. Definitely some Basquiat locks. I love this image. Did you draw that yourself? Really good, man. Six months in on these locks. Let's see how these are forming here. Yo, she's got blue. Six months in, so they're definitely locked closer towards the roots than towards the tips, as we can see that they're wispy still. Crazy. Not too many locks on her head as well. Loving that she's free forming it. Definitely need to see more ladies embracing that free form journey. Yes, she looks happy with her locks. I love it. Yo, Uncle Dimitri is back again at 15 months. These locks literally have the craziest looking texture. Insane. Like, they've matured so well. Now, as thick as they already are, they can get thicker with no separation. Only he will he only he can tell with time what he decides to do. How I've been tying my locks lately. Yo, he's got the mini bun on top of his head. Tied up with his own locks. So I think. Unless that is the tie band right there. But it looks good and this updo only gets better with time because as your locks get longer, the updo gets thicker and fuller and higher. Natty in the elevator. These are definitely natty. Check out that growth. Yo, I'm intrigued at how these are going to turn out too, man. I wish that these people... I hope that these people continue to post updates on this subreddit because it's the only way that I'm going to be able to see the progression. Wash day. Yes, the big Congo on top once again. Haha. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. Five month free form, no sponge, no towel, no separation. Crazy. Now we have seen her in the past episodes. No sponge, no towel. 
No separation. She's just letting it do its thing. They're gonna turn out sick. Very unique. Family, new, hey family, new here. I've been locked for two years. Ooh, they're looking good. I love the red tone you got going on there. Those are fire. Now she's been getting them retwisted as well. Almost like sister locks? Loving the red, loving the red. A little fun under the sun, jumping around, having some fun. Yeah. Yo, dreads on the trampoline. Yes. Showing us the relative density of these locks. Yo. <laughs> I love the airtime that they're getting. That's definitely some fun in the sun. Notice the new growth at the roots. No manipulation at all. Jay, some recent updates back again. He's got a little twist dread up there. Twisted these locks together a little bit. Smoking on a spliffy. Ah, that's what's up. Three weeks to 10 months. All right, so three weeks in right here. High top. And then 10, oof, 10 month looks way crazier. Like this is how much dedication pays off. You can see the progress. You can trace the difference when growing locks. This is why it's such a beautiful journey to be on. Very rewarding in that sense. Got a good bunch of loose hairs hanging around. And that's what we do. We embrace the frizz. 100%. That's all we can really do is just keep on embracing the frizz. I mean, in time, they could sort themselves out. Update. It's roughly two months. I put six months, but made the official decision recently. Yo. Those are a happy set of locks. A lot of dread balls all over the place. I feel like these locks are gonna change dynamically over time. They're gonna have a mind of their own. Embrace this journey, man, you're gonna need it. Yo, yo. Washed it and covered it with a do-rag. Nice. So wearing a do-rag with locks is really going to help lay down the locks if they're sticking up. It's going to also help tame frizzy hairs that may or may not be loose. Dude's got a lot of definition with his locks. So sick. How it started <laughs> versus how it's going. Yo, definitely going. And his locks have become so dense that they've dropped down now. So it's definitely detox time. Yo, detoxing up in this. The inflatable tub, definitely worthwhile to get. Easier to use than a sink or a bathtub. You know, drop a little bit of ACV in there. Drop a little bit of baking soda, some lemon juice, and you're cooking. Cooking. Yo, we are getting there with this hang time. Starter locks versus now. Yes. Wow, what a difference. Starter and now. Hang time is real. Seven months in the free form journey. Very light brown locks once the sun hits these. And you'll notice that once the sun hits your hair, it changes color almost immediately. You get to see the true tones. Sweet. A lot, of, a lot of new dreads up in this. That's what I love to see is that people starting their dreadlock journeys from the Knot Nation. Tried to freeform, gave up, and got it twisted. Yo, these are some tiny little twists. Crazy. Well, maybe freeform was not for everybody. I'm, I'm, I appreciate you trying your best. This reminds me of the very first set of locks I've ever noticed. When I was in high school, before I ever had dreads, a friend of mine came into school with hair exactly like this, maybe even shorter. And I was like, what is that going on with the hair? Because I used to get braids at the time and cornrows and he did as well. And he came in with hair like this one day and he's like, yeah, they're dread, they're locks. I was like, what? Those little things are locks? He's like, yeah, they're locks. 
It wasn't until like five years later they got to the length that I really noticed them like being like nice full set of locks. But dude showed me, man. He showed me like that's what's up and how you get locks. One of the first guys that inspired it personally. Getting a little bit of sun bleaching back there. Yes. I love that forward ponytail you got going on. Man is at work as well. Looks like he's working at Delta Airlines. Yes. This is a freedom job right here. Stay with it, my friends. Fire. Ah, I appreciate you guys so much.